After its recent adoption of an anti-smoking law, North Korea appears to be ramping up its efforts to help its people quit smoking. But it's questionable whether the law will stop the regime's leader, who's a heavy smoker and continues to be seen lighting up in public. Our Kim Dami has more. Giving up smoking is a common New Year's resolution around the world, including in North Korea. The regime has put up anti-smoking campaign posters throughout the smoke-free areas it designated, which include theaters and public transportation. There is also a quit smoking research center offering tips to smokers on resisting cravings for nicotine. But the intense campaign against smoking has also raised questions about whether Kim Jong-un, a heavy smoker himself, will kick the habit. Just last week, Kim was pictured with a cigarette in his hand as he enjoyed performances for the Lunar New Year. And two years ago, when he went to Hanoi for his summit with U.S. President Donald Trump, news footage showed him smoking as his sister Kim Yo-jung held an ashtray for him. He probably believes that, as leader, he's an exception. It could also be a sympathy tactic to show that he faces so many challenges in carrying out policies for his people that he breaks the rule and smokes. Gim's most recent appearance smoking in public came just three months after the North adopted last November what it calls a tobacco prohibition law. The regime claims that the law tightens illegal and social controls on the production and sale of cigarettes to provide a more cultured and hygienic environment for the people, though it has not specified what the penalties are. And days after passing the law, the North Australian News Agency said that smokers could be at greater risk of contracting COVID-19, citing what it claimed were health experts around the world. Kim Dami, Arirang News.